I'm going to talk about building an app in uh, less than eight hours in about less than uh, five minutes. So, uh, in eight hours, I built an app for a hackathon with a working backend, caching, image loading, uh, deep navigation for like you know connecting the pages of data together. Um, after the presentations at the hackathon, um, I lost, so probably don't take it my advice. Uh, multiple people asked me how I was able to do as much as I did in such a short period of time. Um, I felt like I underachieved, but so I'm going to try to explain how I was able to do what I was able to do in the amount of time that I did. And uh, for context, all right. So for context, this is what I did. Um, this is the tabs on Tallahassee API. We have uh, people that are in your government here in Florida. Uh, we have the organizations. We have the contact information for those people. Um, we have the bills that are in legislation right now or have passed legislation or got kicked out. Um, this app tries to help you get to all of that information. Um, I believe the only thing that's missing is the actual voting. So you can see I'm going real quick through all of this, but if you want, you can go click on the phone number and tell them that you're angry at them, you know, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the best way to do what I did is just become an expert. So there you go. That's uh, just be one. Good. Right. So that's obviously a really terrible answer. Uh, so I'm a jerk. So how do you actually become an expert? That's probably a better thing to answer. Um, I started Android development about seven years ago. Uh, I have spent easily 60 hours a week of my life doing nothing but Android development. Since then, um, probably more sometimes when Andrew yells at me. And uh, so the advice there is to learn everything you can about whatever you're interested in. But I didn't learn just Android in that time. I've learned backends with servers. I've learned how to configure new software. I've learned C Sharp. I've learned JavaScript. Learn everything, because the more you learn, the easier it is to become an expert at the thing that you are interested in. So. On top of that, you obviously have your tools, you have your libraries, you have your design. Design is really important. You're going to have to master those two. But again, if you spread your knowledge out, all of that becomes easier because it all becomes kind of the same thing. It becomes cohesive. So as you're doing these things, you go and work on a GitHub project. You go and build a new app. Refocus your efforts. Reevaluate yourself. How did I fail in whatever I just did? Because I'm sure you did. We all have, right? Everybody sucks. Like, I suck. So, but I'm an expert at sucking, so. Okay. So, but uh, once you become, uh, <laughs> once you feel like you've become that expert, you need to start leveraging those skills. So, leveraging your expertise uh, is not just walking into the room like, oh, I know everything, so listen to me. Uh, you need to be. be Pragmatic. You need to focus on how to convey your knowledge to other people. Um, you need to figure out when using a solution that you used in the past is a good idea, or maybe that's a terrible idea. And the, the ability to convey that information to other people in a way that they can understand it is probably the most important part of being an expert. Uh, the application that I built came expressly from that knowledge. Um, it came from all the experience I have in planning, all the experience I have in just getting shit done. Um, you know, and, and even in the design, it was just, I already knew what to do. I was able to build the entire picture in my head, and that was all because of experience. And that's how I got to become the expert that I am. So the full circle is know your libraries, know your design, uh, understand networking in depth, that was important for this, uh, understand data storage, uh, so you need to understand the back end, the front end, um, everything in the middle, and uh, then you'll be the expert. So, to finish up, go be experts. I'm sure some of you are, and uh, you're awesome. We all still suck though.
it was three or four out of like six. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wanted to put myself. What organization put on the hackathon? Code for Orlando. <laughs> it's a pretty cool organization. They put on the hackathon, um, and it was sponsorship through UC. Or Knights Foundation. Yeah. Knights Foundation and Orlando City put on, uh, put on the hackathon. So what about you calling the um, <laughs> come talk to me. <laughs> Anybody else? No? no. Tell me. Uh, how did you decide to pick the tools you used? Uh, really just, so I actually used tools that I had not used before um, for, for this specific talk, but uh, the important thing there is that I spent the entire week before the hackathon uh, looking at the API, the writing notes, um, I prototyped things. I, when I when I got there at 9 a.m., they were like, all right, everybody split off and share your ideas and build up a team. I went and sat in front of my monitor that everybody was really intimidated by for some reason. And, uh, I was really intimidated. I was a little bit impressed. Okay, impressed. Wrong eye. Um, so I sat down, and for almost the entire time, I had my headphones on and I was executing the plan in my head. So really the answer to that was that I had decided a week prior. Um, I went in knowing exactly what I was going to do and what I wanted to accomplish. So, uh, <laughs> one thing I've realized with uh, Android devices is that you can say that at all in making that? Or is it yeah, as long as you've got Lollipop or better, that thing totally works. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that something that developers should consider going forward, or is it just now focused on what's most recent? I mean, that's going to be a per-business decision. Um, in this case, I didn't care. It worked on my phone, and that was the only thing we needed to work on. So that was, uh, that was pretty much the more. I think it's time for like one more. What language did you use for the back uh, For the back end? Well, the back end was provided. Uh, tabs on Tallahassee and the Orlando Signal provided the back end in this case. Which is open source if anybody wants to work on it. Yep. Go to our GitHub. GitHub uh, slash GitHub.com slash CF Orlando. Yeah. Well thank you guys.